Hi. I came to poetry when I was a little girl in this city, San Antonio, where I was born and raised, where my ancestors have lived for generations, where my babies were born, three, and where my dead are buried. I came to poetry because the wide open space of the page offered me a place to think, to explore, and though no one was listening to me then, a place to speak. This was very important for little girl me, in a city divided by class, a neighborhood divided by race, and in schools and a home divided by gender. I listened a lot, and I didn't have much choice. I listened to what the land and the buildings and the people of my city had to teach me. And as I listened, I wrote things down. I realized many years later that in writing things down, I was creating charts or maps. And it was these maps that allowed me to navigate in a world that threatened to run me over with things like hate and fear, or render me hopeless, or render me silent. I began connecting the dots, and I realized that as a mother, a daughter, an educator, a writer, the decisions I made were directly affected by what had happened in my life in this city, and moreover, affected by what happened in the lives of my ancestors in this city. With my scribbles as map, I could see where I was going, and if it was good, it was good. But if it was bad, I could change it. I could make change. And I could make change by being deliberate in my reactions to things like hate and fear. One of my favorite quotes is by Gloria Ansaldúa, I change myself, I change the world. I could do that. And I can do that by listening for the lessons that were being offered up at my feet because of who and where I'm from. Here's another one of my favorites, this one by Adrian Rich. The moment of change is the only poem. This is what I learned from my second grade reading teacher. If you read really, really carefully, even to yourself, your voice becomes a blooming flower, large and full as the moon. This is what I learned from my ninth grade algebra teacher. Some teachers think they are helping to raise animals and treat you as such. This is what I learned from my ninth grade English teacher. Some teachers think they are helping to raise poets and treat you as such. This is what I learned from the rattler daddy shot off the front porch. Nothing is worse than being a snake. <laughs> This is what I learned from the stray cat that showed up on our back porch when I was 10 years old. Sometimes mothers eat their babies. This is what I learned from the stray cat that showed up on our back porch 25 years later. Sometimes mothers eat their babies because it's the only way they know to ease the suffering. This is what I learned from Valerie, a 19-year-old mother from the South Side, like me, who in 2007 killed her babies and stashed their little bodies under the house. There's a fine line between those of us who have support and those of us who don't. This is what I learned from the house on Pleasanton Road. Sometimes solitude equals safety. This is what I learned from the house on Lagarde Street. The best neighbors bring out the best in you, and bring you albondigas and brisket when you are very pregnant, <laughs> and wine when you are not. <laughs> This is what I learned from the house on Mango Street. You can live in San Antonio and be a writer. This is what I learned from Coach Pop in the San Antonio Spurs. Our community is electrified when champions share their achievements, but our community is empowered when champions share their hearts. This is what I learned from the cactus. Despite the need to defend yourself, you can still have much to give. This is what I learned from the scorpion. Mothers who carry their babies on their backs will never stop fighting for them. Best keep your hands out of the way. 
This is what I learned from the mockingbird. Nobody likes being mocked. <laughs> this is what I learned from the armadillo. I am not an armadillo. I do not have to live with my back against a wall. This is what I learned from the missions. Tourists get audio and visual clips in which the word colonized has a celebratory ring to it. This is what I learned from the woman whose son I married when I was 18. What it means to be pelionera, and also that the greatest things require great patience, embroidery, love, carne guisada. <laughs> this is what I learned from the time I spent with Grandpa in the tomato fields. Tomato garden, we didn't have a field, it was a garden. <laughs> Resourcefulness and efficiency in land and in language can save your life. Also, I can do anything with my own hands. This is what I learned from my grandmother. You don't need a formal education to make great art, and sometimes it is absolutely necessary to sing with all your stomach. This is what I learned from my mother. Sometimes, in order to get on the other side of a fire, you have to walk right through it. This is what I learned from my father. Sometimes, we are the fire. This is what I learned from El Carmen Cemetery. When they lowered the casket and the earth swallowed up my grandpa's bones, it didn't swallow mine. This is what I learned from the pecan tree. There are whole worlds, little fruit, little poems, lessons falling to our feet. Stop, eat. And this is what I learned from poetry. I will always be learning. Thank you.